Right, so I've got my little e-paper STM32 PCB here and it's doing updates every 10 seconds, you can just see one there. In between the updates it's in shutdown mode. Now if I come over to the Arduino IDE you'll see that if I attempt to program it'll compile and it'll attempt to attach Boom, and you get a dev target command error. Now that's because you can't program using the ST-Link V2 while it's in shutdown mode. And unless you catch it in that 10 second update, it's not going to actually manage to program anything. So I've also got the STM32 Cube Programmer utility here. Now this is the um, ST utility for the ST-Link V2. And it's got some options. If you set mode to under reset instead of normal and you set reset mode to core reset then you can actually connect if you reset the STM32. Now if you try without resetting the STM32 you get exactly the same error. But if I get some tweezers and short out this capacitor here which turns out to be my reset capacitor and attempt to connect and let go then it actually collect, connects. Now one of the options you've got over here is the erasing and programming option and if you go to a full chip erase there and say yes it's now erased all the flash. It's still had and reset. So if I remove the power and put the power back on like that. It'll now start up with blank flash and either crash or run into a bootloader or something. And if I then try programming, there's the build and the program and that is now programmed so it should be updating every 10 seconds now. An update should occur. Doodly -doo. There we go. So that's now been programmed. Of course now it's in <laughs> shutdown mode and I've got to do it again. Although on here I've actually got a recovery mode. If I hold a button down, power up, it goes into a loop and that I can program from so I don't have to go through this every time I want to program it. But that is how you get an STM32 programmed with an ST-Link V2 when it's in some sort of low power shutdown mode.